I think we definitely underestimate high school students. I think by setting high expectations for them, they can take things to the next level on their own. Hi, I'm Allison Nelson. I teach biomedical engineering at the Nikola Tesla STEM High School, and I'm an Allen Distinguished Educator. When I do tell people I teach biomedical engineering, they're usually taken aback that high school students even take this course. So let's go ahead and get started. I didn't think that we'd actually be 3D printing biomedical devices. Like we're looking at the real world, finding problems, and then trying to come up with solutions in the classroom. So we're making a downhill skiing prosthesis for people with transtibial like amputations. Just if we print like these the and then solder it to the plastic, right? Okay. Yeah, I think that could work. My students are 17 or 18 years old, and I do feel like they can solve some of these problems. Tell me which artery you're doing again. Yeah, so this is the popliteal artery. I mean, I think making an arterial prosthetic to like improve blood flow and to stop clotting, it's like you can generally like genuinely make a change on their life. They may be small problems, but that's just going to give them the confidence to maybe tackle larger problems later on in their life. So what's your your next step? You already have the 3D printed hands. Um, maybe what you could do is you could form the silicon around the glove. Yeah, that's a good idea. I really try to, to present ideas to the students, but then kind of take a step back and let them go from there. I feel like it's sort of reminiscent of how working in science would be structured outside of school. I definitely like the freedom that there is and for there to be a lot of trust on you. She lets us take the wheel and make sure that we can figure out the problems on our own. We might want to get these filters to cover more area, but they're already so cheap that it's going to cost maybe four cents more. You could also cut them up, redistribute them. Exactly. Or... It allows us to fail and try again and learn from our mistakes. How can you ever learn if you don't ever fail? Let me plug that in, and then it goes around in a circle. My students, they're really open to whatever they want to pursue. For example, um, I have a student who's building a prosthetic ankle for rock climbing. But I think that it could be improved, especially in the terms of the heel. And what made you choose something for climbing specifically? Uh, well, mostly because that's what I do. That's what um, you do? Yeah. yeah. When the project is relevant to them, they are so much more confident in what they're doing, and they're so much more passionate about really finding a solution. So it's not just like learning from a textbook. It really does set a strong foundation for like any type of career you want to pursue. She, she instilled my passion for biology to begin with. I literally had no idea what was going on in all these other classes. Um, I wasn't really getting into them, but this class has really solidified my personal goals of being a biomedical engineer. <laughs> So to have students sympathizing with those people in need, my hope is that they're thinking of, of the world and what they can do to, to make it a better place.